Everybody talking about kids. Everybody talking about how bad kids is. You know it's bad. But see, you can't say kids bad. I said, hey, these motherfuckers bad. <laughs> Sassy, talk his head, shaking his Talk to the hand, talk to the hand. Don't tell me all this here. Uh... See, it ain't the kid, it's us. See, we some punk ass parents, see. See, we the punk ass parents today. See, we, I need to go back to old school because there ain't no grandmama no more. Ain't that a bitch? See, ain't no grandmama. Remember Big Mama? See, Big Mama gone. See, you're a grandmama now when you're 24. <laughs> Great grandmama, 36. Talking about I ain't babysitting. Shit. Shit. You know that, man. No, man, the kid's bad. See, from back in the day, Big Mama. Big Mama was that old mother with that old flower dress on and those swollen ass ankles. And she had a wig on, be cocked to the side. And she slid her feet when she walked. And she hummed. That's what I miss. Big Mama. You know you got your ass whooped, so you couldn't even talk when Big Mama was talking to the grown folks. Remember that? When Big Mama was talking to somebody, you had to shut what they called the fuck up. If Big Mama was talking to somebody, she said, Girl, you know, I went to the store, I got two tomatoes, some taters, some lettuce. No, you didn't, Big Mama. You got and like I said, you uh, when I got the motherfucker, she should knock the paws in your motherfucking ass. You know you hurt when you cry and you pause. You ever had a pause? When a mother hits you in your throat, make your teeth click. You bite the back of your tongue, you can't cry. <laughs> When you cry like that, man, your soul is f***ed up. You hurt. My big mama used to come to school. She would never would tell you when she's going to come. Just pop the f*** up. And all of a sudden, somebody walked in the door, and everybody be whispering, Who mama that? Who mama that is? Who mama that is? You can always tell who mama was, because they be playing like they doing some work. Oh, that's your motherfucking mama now. I when I used to slap the shit at you in the street. Remember how you used to get a whooping in the street? Now people get all in your business. Don't do that. Don't say that. They got a leash on you at the airport. I see one with a leash on the kid. Come here. Come here. You're going too far. I wish I would put a chain on my goddamn hood. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move, motherfucker. You shouldn't do that. Shut the up. No, I'm out of No, Carolina, I'm going to tell you stuff you got to pray for. Me. See, my mama tell you something. Me and my wife been in the house walking around naked eating and everything. She get broke. I know who the fuck did it, you know. Now I got three new people in my damn house. I got my sister. See, we family. No, Carolina, we family. I'm going to talk to you. We family. I got my sister's children. Living with me now. I'm about to go crazy like a motherfucker around here, you know? See, my sister on drugs. I ain't ashamed to tell you. Some of your family members fucked up too around here. I ain't ashamed to tell you. But my brother called me, North Carolina. My brother said, he said, Matt, you gotta come home, man. The court gonna separate the kids. I said, no, you know, I, I can't have that. I can't have that. I said, I'm gonna be there. Now, mind y'all, North Carolina, I know him, but I don't know him. You know what I'm talking about? I know the kids, but I don't know these motherfuckers, you know? Two, four, and six. Ooh, shit, come help me babysit these motherfuckers. I get there, I'm in court. The judge said the Mac family, I stood up, I said, yes, Your Honor, I'm part of the Mac family. He said, we're gonna separate the kids. I said, Your Honor, you mean separate like divide? He said, very good, Mr. Mack, very good. I said, you know what? I said, Yon, I can't allow that. I said, my brother and I, we're going to split custody. That motherfucker turned his back on me like he didn't say shit. <laughs> yeah, pump some of my bitch. See, you know, Kane killed Abel, you know what I mean? 
I said, Your Honor, I'm gonna take the kid for six months, and my brother gonna take the kid for six months. This punk son of a bitch, get up and walk the f out. I ain't seen him since. If I ever seen him, I'm gonna f him up on sight. I'm gonna bust his head to the white meat. I'll slap all over. Y'all gonna read about it. Whatever I see, this motherfucker's gonna be a misunderstanding. There's gonna be some furniture moving around this motherfucker. <laughs> I said, Yon, I take the kid. Now I got these three, some of my bitch, give my friends. That's what I want to say, you know. These motherfuckers on my goddamn nerve. Y'all got to pray for me. And that two year old, she the motherfucker, she the ring leader. This have never been here before. She a shepherd for the devil, she worked for the devil. Then the six year old, my sister was really getting high with her because she don't talk, she don't say shit. All she do is look at your ass like this here. I told her ass the other day, I said, let me tell you something, if a fire break out, you better have a whistle or a horn or something. Cause you're gonna be a burner up motherfucker with me. I ain't got talent for no deaf music. Talk! Holla! No, tell like this. And the four-year-old here, whoo! Yeah, yeah. No, I ain't gonna need you on the no walk all like this here. Crying all the goddamn time. Quit crying, just a push up or something. I came in the house the other day, man, at 1.30 in the morning. The two year old gonna send the <laughs> downstairs for some milk and cookies. I'm going upstairs, he coming down, he gonna walk past me like I'm a visitor. I said, where you going? He said, to get some milk and cookies. He said it so funny, I wanted to hear it again. I said, get some what? He says, I'm milk and cook. I told him, I said, man, it's too goddamn late for some damn cookies and milk, man. Take your punk ass upstairs and get some rest. That's how I talk to him. I got time for these bad ass kids. These kids will kill you. They gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill them. I can see y'all reading Jet and Ebony right now. I got he talking. It's a shame how Bernie fucked up those damn kids. I can't get no rest. They walk around the house 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Got their finger under my nose, seeing if I'm breathing, all that kind of shit. Then the son of this man gonna sit up there, she gonna go upstairs. The two-year-old, I heard the two-year-old say, Where the cookies and shit? He gonna tell her, Him downstairs. Who the f is him? Like I ain't got no name or something. Him downstairs. The two-year-old said, well, I go get this shit myself. <laughs> she gonna walk her little bowling leg down there. I'm standing in the corner. I watch her get a little step ladder. She gonna go on over the refrigerator. I said, what the fuck you doing? She looked at me, I'm gonna get some milk and cook. I said, didn't I tell your punk ass boy he couldn't have no goddamn cook? Are you listening when I tell the he could have had a. Now I'm telling your short ass, he can't have no goddamn milk cookies. Get your punk ass up there before you get fucked up around here. Or she gonna look at me like I'm short, you know. No, no, can I? Everybody in this room know what that look mean. That look mean you wanna do something to me. So I backed up. I told her, bust a move. Bust a move. And I'm out this motherfucker.